name is Katie Halbert and I am the horn player of the Wild Prairie Wing Quintet. This is my week for our Quick Fix educational video series and I'm going to be focusing on two simple elements of horn playing which are embouchure and air. In my video today I want to talk a little bit about slurs. So as we focus on embouchure and air we're going to be doing exercises that do not necessarily use a lot of valves in terms of moving from note to note but we're going to be using our valves to help change what key we are in. So we're going to start on our open horn, which is our F horn, and we're just going to do a really nice, easy slur over, in our, open, over our open arpeggio. <laughs> starts with our mouthpiece placement, making sure that we feel like we're just setting the mouthpiece on our bottom lip and rolling it up. It should encompass all of our top lip. The ratio is normally two-thirds top lip, one-third bottom lip. And you also want to make sure that we're keeping a nice what they call puckered smile where the lips are relatively pursed and we're focusing on strong structure here. So we don't want to pull the corners back, which we call smiling, or pushing the corners too far forward, which is puckering. Having the right embouchure should make slurring feel very easy with the right combination of our airstream. If you don't put enough air through the embouchure, slurring will feel very difficult and it will almost feel like the buzz wants to stop because the buzz only happens with the flow of air through the embouchure. So let's try doing a longer exercise. We should always feel as though the horn is naturally playing along with us. We shouldn't feel as though the horn is fighting us. And if it is, we have to assess what could possibly be going on. And usually, if we think about faster air, that will typically fix the problem. But we need to make sure that we're not thinking about the airstream being aggressive. It should feel like a relatively uh, relaxed exhale. It shouldn't feel like we're forcing where you feel like you're getting a lot of tension in your neck and in the back of the throat. So if you're feeling like everything's open and everything feels like it's very much a natural instinct, then you're probably using the right kind of air. But again, we want to make sure that the airstream has power and has forward motion. Let's try a little bit of a longer exercise. exercise went up into um, still staying in our C major arpeggio but it went up to that third space C and as I went higher I started to think about making sure that my embouchure was moving into the right place for the C so thinking about bringing my corners together just a little bit and thinking about a flat chin and then I also actually thought a little bit about my air speed uh, speeding up and I actually also thought about a vowel sound going from our regular A or O um, which is our normal open horn vowel sound, to an E, which causes our tongue to arc just a little bit um, towards the roof of the mouth, which helps speed up that airstream. So you can see the various changes that are happening in my embouchure, going from oh, e, oh, e, oh, e, oh, e, oh. There is a change of structure, but I'm also vocally in in um in orally thinking of the oh e oh e oh e oh e oh I call that vocalizing, and I find that that helps me to focus on keeping the airstream going as though I'm singing through the instrument. So I'm going to try that whole exercise again. <laughs> Once you get a hold of that pattern, something that's super great about the horn is now we just go from playing on our open F horn, press down your second valve, and it lowers the pitch by a half step. 
lower fingering combinations. We have to make sure that we continue to keep the embouchure closer together inside the mouthpiece. We want to make sure that we're not actually opening up or else the buzz will stop. So focusing on using our embouchure and our air in the correct ways, slurring on the horn should feel very easy and very natural and should actually be a very um, important part of our warm-up routine. And so hopefully if you start incorporating that into your practice time that you will start to notice um, more strength in your embouchure and a better response um, from note to note. I hope today's quick fix was helpful. Join me again next time for working on our low register.